In recent years, there's been a lot of advancements in cancer diagnosis and treatment. And we actually now have really good treatment options for a variety of cancers. However, there are certain malignancies that remain really hard to treat. And so my lab has been focusing on a new way of treating cancer, uh, which we call CAR T-cell therapy. Now, T-cells are white blood cells, which we can take out of the cancer patient and genetically modify to express a protein called a CAR, C-A-R, that would allow the T-cells to recognize tumor cells and kill them. And so we and others have developed CAR T-cell therapies for different kinds of cancers, and early successes have been found in treating blood cancers, particularly B-cell leukemia and lymphoma. In fact, one of the earliest therapies we developed in our group was taken all the way from our lab to the clinic here at UCLA for the treatment of patients with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma and has achieved one can argue best-in-class results in both safety and efficacy. This then was translated to a startup company here in Los Angeles and is now being ready for phase two clinical testing. But moving forward, we're focusing more on solid tumors, which account for 90% of all cancer diagnoses and deaths in the United States. And we're trying to engineer even better T cells that can overcome a lot of the defense mechanisms that tumor cells have developed to protect themselves. As an example, we're currently focusing on the treatment of glioblastoma, which is the most common kind of primary brain tumors in adults. And we're engineering T cells that can not only recognize tumor cells, but also engage endogenous, meaning naturally found uh, immune cells inside the patient so that they can serve as backups to our CAR T cells to capture tumor cells that the engineered T cells may not be able to uh, directly attack. And so our hope is to develop novel therapies that are safe and efficacious for patients who don't currently have great treatment options for their conditions.